Hello, hi everybody. We are actually we are we are building on technically a I don't know if it's a holiday or just a day off here. It's Canada Day here in Canada, or not Canada Day, a family day here in Canada. It brains all over the place. I walked outside think, hoping that the mailbox would be open today, but it's not open. And in doing so, I realized that nobody is outside today. So depending on how much work I have to do after stream, I may go out and explore and take pictures um, because it is dead outside. And quite frankly, I'm about that, bro. <laughs> I'm kind of about that, dude. As soon as Alex goes live, I have something I need to do. Oh no, Nixie. What's going on, hello everyone? How you doing? Touch grass? We're touching grass maybe today. Well, actually not that there's any grass downtown really. We're gonna touch cement, um, but outside cement, not indoor cement. Uh, what's up, Nanny? What's up, Snake? What's up, Basta? What's up, RF? How you doing? Uh, Tails, how you doing? JD, Aesthetic, Megan, Mark, how you guys doing? Toxic, Cisco, Manic, Ivan, Blasphemous, Tay, 6306, Tom, how you doing? What's up, guys? You can touch, what the hell, Nixie? To touch cement? Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my derivative today. It is not my derivative today. It is going to be, um, actually, I've built a few of his boards in the past. I don't remember his Twitch what username, but I know today. his Discord username off the top of my head, but Gear Shift, thank you so much for the tier one. Uh, we're doing a derivative, just a small little derivative, you know, quick little one of those guys. I actually disassembled one of my lights yesterday because I was uh, moving it around and I forgot how small these things are, man. Love this thing. It's, uh, it's going to be a replacement, I think, for one of my other lights in the future. One of Alex's many derivatives. Yeah, one of my many. Uh, came by to say hi. Thank you, Durian. Uh, streaking with Mr. Toes five times in a row. Huh? What? <laughs> I've been breaking out my pimples. I think I need to drink more water, according to my girlfriend. Do you know where I can get our hands on the root beer floats? Well, these ones here for, came from R&D KBD. Um, I'm not gonna lie though. I haven't really taken a personal, personal interest in these switches, so I'm not too sure if these are still around or I, I have no idea. Um, yeah, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure to be honest if these are anywhere at the moment. Hydrate, thank you. Bob, thank you so much for the tier one, man. So nice. Happy start to the week into my second year joining these awesome streams. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, man. Are the root beer floats just cream sodas or completely different? They are tactile switches. So these are, I believe they're the same mixture. I could be wrong as like the same kind of PC, like top and bottom. Um, it's just a tactile stem. Nev, thank you so much for the tier one for 10 months, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. <sighs> yeah, if custom key code, I don't think I've shot from them scooped or Jeff, but if Mr. Geoff can, can attest to that, then I would listen to him there. I don't think I've shopped there myself, have I? No, I have not. Yeah, maybe follow Mr. Geoff's advice there. Um, take the time to lube the RBF. They have quite a lot of leaf ping. Yes, I lubed these. They have a lot of leaf ping. I wish I left one stock to show you guys, but this is how they turned out. pretty much all gone. Uh, this spring, as good as the spring is, like I found them very consistent. There is a lot of noise from the spring as well. So you got to get rid of the, the spring ping as well by putting some oil or lubing those. I didn't really lube the leaves. I tried on one or two of them. I kept two as t test samples because I actually have some root beer floats from my last build um, that I used them on because I still have a bag of these. And I use one or two as testing. Hopefully, I didn't, you know, I didn't fuck them up, but I was just like, okay, we'll put these aside. We'll test. It's been a while since I've lubed them. I ended up not lubing the leaf because, man, I put a little bit of lube, just the tiniest amount on the outside of the leaf where the stems would slide. Bro, it just obliterated the tactility on these things. Um, so I left them bone dry there. I did try some under. It didn't really do much. At least I didn't find. Where I found the biggest thing for me was is just the, the springs themselves. Um, and then just getting a tiny little lube on the, the rails and uh, on the back. But yeah, once you lube them, they're great. They're fantastic. Unlubed, these are very, very metallic-y sounding switches. 
Juan, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you, thank you for 35 months. My goodness, bro. Hello, Alex, my beloved. Oh, hello, Alex, my beloved. You are looking lovely today. Damn. Hope you are having a great Monday, Alex. Oti woo, Alex. Oti woo. It's been going okay. I uh, I went outside today, and then I came back inside promptly after. So I spent 20 minutes in line at a subway to get lunch, thinking I'd be there for t for five minutes, but uh, yeah, there was there was some people in there that. You know, one of my biggest peppies. Okay, I'm gonna say this. If you're in line for something, right? I've got some fluff on my mustache. If you're in line for something, right? All right, you're in line. You're waiting in line. You know, someone else is four or five people in front of you. Aren't you like actively thinking what you wanna order? <laughs> Aren't you like, bro, boy, I wanna get in and out as fast as possible. Like, let me think of what I wanna order. That way there, I don't hold up the line. And then when you, when you get to the counter and you're just like, oh, it's my turn. Let me think of what I want to order. Bro, you could have done that for the last 15 minutes. But yeah, that happened two times in line today. <laughs> it, it, I don't know, man. It's just like, to me, I know it's not the biggest deal in the world. I don't mind waiting personally. Just built TPK, my first thank you so much for the tier one. Slash gold. Have the Egyptus caps on the way and we'll oh. be using sock switches. Was inspired by one of your past vods. Dude, super excited. The SOTC switches on the on the um, mode boards do sound pretty good. I gotta admit. A lot of people in the back so they can start using their brain <laughs> brainsicles. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like to me, that's pretty crazy. I try to think of like other people when I'm out, you know, but I guess some people don't. Dude, honestly, Megan Aaron, I I agree with you. I know. Okay, so we got this, we'll just keep in here. We've seen an unboxing of this in the past. We got an O-ring. Actually, I didn't even ask Solid what mount he wanted for this. Or, yeah, what kind of mounting style? I think I'm just experimenting today, but I'm assuming it's gonna be the same mounting style that everyone's been kind of going with with derivatives, which is probably gonna be the... Oh, interesting. Which is most likely just gonna be the um, relief mount. I'm assuming. Brain off just vibes because they're on lunch break. Maybe. And I think both of these plates are exactly the same. Um, I know it's over when I hear what's your best seller from the person in front of me. You know what? I'm not even like if someone were to be like, what's your best seller? And then just order it immediately. But it's like when someone goes, what's your best seller? And then goes, no, nah, I don't want that. Oh, bro. <laughs> just come on, dude. Uh, I have... Okay, the story with Helldivers so far. Um, I downloaded it. I played it alone for about 20, 30 minutes. It was fun. It was the other day. I asked some people in one of my, like one of the people that I normally game with. And we're kind of just doing other games for right now. And I think I have some other groups of people that I've been playing other games with. So right now... I, I decided that I just don't have any interest in playing Helldivers 2 um, because I have, believe it or not, some other games to play. So I just actually refunded it just because I don't think I'm ever going to touch it, at least maybe not for the next few months. And I just, I feel weird buying a game now. Like I feel very wasteful buying a video game that I just do not touch. Um, so I, I actually have been kind of getting really into the Total War series. Um, so I've been playing that with one of my friends and yeah, that has been a blast. I have, uh, never played them up until recently and it has been super, super fun. Oh, extra. I think I have to message you back with something. I saw your message on discord. I just, the, this weekend here, when the stream got canceled yesterday, I kind of just went into like a do nothing mode. Um, so I got to message you back. We're like total bore, bro. Ravioli, ravioli, give me your best selling saboli, huh? I should say that next time. Uh, let me just see what plate we're using. This, thank you so much for the tier one, man. Thank you guys. Derivative you guys are build. Kind. Oh, I actually, got I my finally and feel like I might commission Mr. Otos for the build. Dude, I am literally doing derivatives for the next, actually, I'm doing one more next week. Oh, 
I get to see the green one today? Let's go. But yeah, if you want me to, man, um, commissions are kind of uh, getting kind of full up for, for, uh, for March. So if you did want to commission me, no, no pressure, because I mean, there's no rush to build any of these things. But if you would like it in, in March, I would recommend getting in as quickly as possible to the commission list. Yeah, there's also the aluminum plate in here and it looks like we have a palm and PC plate outside. This green is, I've not seen the green in person. This is the first time. Wow. The green looks nice. Damn, I wish I had just asked. Cause I told, I told uh, Justin to just surprise me with the color for mine. And I kind of wish now I, the green I have so many sets for. Although I do like the, the color I have for mine. Um, you know what? I'm kind of thinking we put botanical on this today, but I don't know. That's a sick green. It is, yeah. Alex, have you come across some elitism and premium keyboards lately? Someone got really passionate with me and told me my keyboard was shit due to the mounting style, Tadpole being an inferior mounting style. Yeah, there's been so much elitism in keyboards. Um, if you, I, I don't, listen, I, I, I love you guys. I, I want to get into these to topics more. Ooh, day is looking better now. But it's really hard to get into these topics because the more I talk about them, more people get angry that I talk about them. Like I've literally had people, when I've called out bad behavior, get mad at me for just calling out bad behavior because it's not really bad behavior. Or it's just like they don't view it as bad behavior. Um, that's, that's like the very, very broad scope of what people have said. People have been very specific when I've called out bad behavior. Um, and then I've called out a few people on trying to call me out on bad, like when I call people out on bad behavior, because I'm like, that's just dumb. And I think you're adding to the drama. But uh, yeah, I, I think there is a lot of, of uh, bad eggs and I guess people who kind of like to spread such bad beliefs. So nice. so, my day MKJ order from Australia is finally in my state. Dude, After eight months, you've been waiting Sunia for that for a while, fiasco. man. I absolutely cannot wait. I'm glad, dude. I'm so glad you ended up getting one, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited that the um, 100 acre set got picked up by Drop, I think. Now I'll actually get my set, so that's nice. Uh, well, actually, let me see what plate we're using. I don't remember what plate. So I think for tactile switches today, I think going with a aluminum plate might be the best call here. But, hmm, I'm thinking aluminum or I'm thinking PC. But I'm thinking aluminum, actually, I don't know what plate we should use. Owner said basically find the best one. I'm thinking aluminum though. PP plate, have you tried tactile and PP plate on this Geoff? And you too Alex OP? PP plate, tactile. Let's put this to the side. All right. Actually I need to get some stabilizers too. So I did say I'd get some for this client. Maybe that is the best bet. Perhaps it is. It would be a little softer. It's fire. PP um, just seems to thrive with the least amount of modding required. Yeah, this board does have a little bit of a temperamental, I, I noticed um, nature with aluminum. Not that it's not fixable at all. We're actually not even doing many stabs today. What's up, Dandy? But yeah, to go back to the other conversation, guys, I don't think I want to talk about it too much on, on stream just because I feel like the conversation kind of goes nowhere. But yes, to answer your question, I forget who answered, who asked. Um, there's been a, was it Zal? Zal. There's been a lot of elitism in the hobby, I'd say. Um, the best thing I could recommend is just don't give in to it. Like I had a weird encounter with someone even this morning just being like super elitist and it's it's just i don't know it's not even worth time man I, those people there that like when they have an opinion 
they can't they can't find it inside of them to be happy for other people. Um, so in order for themselves to be happy, imagine the happiness like this, right? They're over here for happiness and they notice that you're over here. Well, instead of bringing their own happiness up and having everyone's happiness be on the same level, it's just, it's really easy to kind of borrow pieces of their happiness to bring them down. So, I mean, you guys even saw, I called a little bit of something out the other day, but, oh, that's just the light. I think it's just my shades. No, it's not my, probably just the shades. But yeah, I know it's sucky, but schmexy. No, I tried going today. Did you already pick up the package with the coffee? I tried Alex going Otlove, today. Alex Otlove. And the post office is closed today because it's technically a, a holiday here. Will you show your eggplant on? I don't think so, Slug. Sorry about that. Alex, Monday streams? Thanks, dude. What's a good starter keyboard for my first board? Uh, whatever interests you, honestly. I, I know it's a very broad and generic and you hate that I probably gave you that answer, but whatever interests you, if you're looking for something that I think goes very well for someone's first board, um, albeit it's a little bit expensive, I think the Sonnet is an absolutely amazing first keyboard. It, in fact, it might even be the last keyboard you get. Um, even something like an Envoy, if you want something cheaper, there's stuff like the Neo series, the Lumen Key series, you got stuff from even, I mean, even Newfie lately with that Gem 80. There's a lot to love about that keyboard as well. Um, there's a lot of good stuff out right now, but you can kind of just pick and choose, I feel, at this point here. All right, let's clip some of these stabilizers. So many good things at the moment. Uh, Paw 65. Oh yeah, that's a cute board. Dude, that video of the cat sad face board that I did, so many people ended up buying it. Pretty crazy, man. People really resonate with cat keyboards. That's what I've really noticed in this hobby. If it has a cat on it, it does really well. Uh, I need to take better pictures of my envoy. Go for it, man, make a day of it. Or make an afternoon of it, rather. Cats are good, simple, meow. People love cats. Alex and chat, are you going to see Dune 2? When does that come out? You know what I'm more interested for? Deadpool and Wolverine movie. I have, I think that's the most hyped I've been for a movie in a long time. <laughs> I wanna go watch that when they're in the theaters. Deadpool looks, I mean, I'm just a big fan of Ryan Reynolds, so. Um, more MAO profile? Have I tried that? I don't think I have. What's that profile? My favorite board at the moment is probably going to be the Event Horizon at the current this current time. I just don't have it on my desk because I was, you know, using it to take photos of other keycaps and stuff. But probably the Event Horizon. Next up in line is the tie between the Kohaku and the Envoy. Those are probably my most used things. And then I would say third in line. I really like this on it. I, I know there's two mode boards in the top there, but... Call me whatever, I just, I prefer the Sonnet. I think it has a great sound profile and a great visual aesthetic, so. If I said I didn't really like Deadpool, am I a heathen? No, not at all. Also, thank you guys. I really appreciate all the subs from earlier. Um, Bunny Hop, Slow Cory, Schmexy, everybody. Thank you guys very, very much. Am I Greek? No, I am, um, I am not Greek, but I get that actually quite often. I get asked if I'm Greek a lot. <clears throat> It's because I think I use my username as Odos. So some people think it's very Greek. Try and push. Uh, bro, I don't think I'm doing this setup tour for a long time. I, uh, I think it's more of a self thing. I, I, I don't really feel like 100% confident in my, uh, my, my room here. So. It's, it's more of a, a self thing, like a self-worth issue maybe type thing, or I see so many other creators of varying sizes have these like gigantic places for doing content. And I'm in a bedroom um, and this is like the most I can do. So I just don't feel like super, super confident, you know? And even the people I do see in bedrooms have giant fucking bedrooms. Uh, Deck on the Taylor, this is my first Alex, or stream Alex. Um, I am a longtime YouTube viewer and avidly watch your VODs to 
Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, man. I hope you're enjoying your Monday, dude. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying yours. Mine's going good, though. Mine's going okay. Just It just kind of started in a way, too, you know? Uh, since when do you stream at 2160p or 2160p 4K? I've been streaming at 4K for a while. I turned it off for a little bit, but everyone wanted it back, so... Um... Sorry to hear that, man. I absolutely love the aesthetic. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's been more of a self thing. It has no, nothing to do with anybody else. It's not that I don't want to make a video like that. It's just... Like, when I look around, there's, there's just parts and stuff. I mean, mind you, they're in really good order today. Like, everything's pretty neatly organized. It's just... There's a lot of things, and it doesn't make me feel good having all this stuff in here. And I think part of having a good workroom is feeling good in it as well. You know what I mean? Um... And again, as much as I love this room, I love this place, I, I do think a small part of me does want something a bit bigger. I'd like something a little larger because I do feel kind of cramped in this room. I think a lot of streamers go overboard with their setups and show uh, it off to claim it as tax time. That's true too. People could do that. <laughs> huh? I will come visit and make it for you? Oh my gosh. I want to squish your nose, little Odos. Thank you, Slug. Uh, I got it, the true Alex experience at the highest definition possible. I want to see every follicle and pore. Oh, gosh. You know what's been really inspiring? Some of you guys have been posting your setups in the uh, Discord. Whew. Dude, some of you guys make me so jealous. Some of you guys are really creative, man. People have been posting some insane setups. What are your opinions on HMX Sunset Gleams? So far, with the exception of one HMX switch, which is the Hy Hisense or whatever they're called. I think those are not my, my cup of tea, but everything has been awesome from HMX, H eh, HMX. So I've been having a great time using their switches. Haven't looked in a while, thanks to the reminder. Yeah, go for it. There's a lot of cool, really, really smart people in there too. Um, yeah, it's all personal preference. Some people have really told me that, like the Hyacinths need certain boards, but I just haven't really found like, I guess a board for them yet, maybe. What combination of the Envoy is your favorite? Um, I like having the, um, I guess the heavier weight in the bottom. I do feel like it rounds it off a bit better. But even just going all aluminum still works with an alu plate and with the lattice blocks, so. <clears throat> it's already past 19 latest time. <sighs> so, Ryan, you have a good one if you're taking off, man, or if you're gonna go take a shower. Take care, dude. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. And we are doing 7U, and we're doing, okay. Boom. Let's do this. Uh, dielectric. Shower stream when? God damn, you guys are asking some sussy questions for a Monday morning, bro. Or a Monday afternoon. It is Monday, my guys. Come on. My new board will arrive tomorrow building with Nixies to start. That's the best switch. I think so. I think pretty positive that's the best. That's the best switch, I think. Alex, I've been loving brighter sounding switches and want to try out some more. What are your favorites? I'm currently using KTT Roses on my j and I love that sound profile. If you want brighter sounding switches, the HMX switches have been fantastic for that dude. HMX has been great. Um, I mean, hell, if you do lightly lubed cherry switches with filming and spring swapping, because you kind of need to with those, 1000% those are gonna tickle your fancy as well. You probably like everything that I like. But yeah, I think, I think that those would be some fun places to start. What do you think the best sub 165% is right now? Uh, if you could find one, probably the only one that I can think of is the Bacaneco at this point. Probably just the Bacaneco. I missed your answer on your favorite switch for Envoy. Uh, favorite switch for Envoy is 100% gonna be <laughs> the Obscuras. I've tried a whole bunch and I know their modes own switch. 
But so far, those have been the ones for me with the, the Envoy. Uh, but I have done a whole bunch of different Envoys, and they all sound good, but Obscurus sound really good. And again, light lube, they have a little bit of a scratch to them. They're very nice. <clears throat> I don't remember how much that one there was. Favorite spacebar switch. You know, lately, those curry switches have been kind of nice for space bars. But cherry switches, any sort of long pull switch usually tickles my fancy as well. The curry switches have been pretty sick though, guys. Gotta admit. Tickles my fancy dandy. Alex, my friend, how the how the heck are you? I was gonna say fuck, but dude, Rock, I've been pretty good, man. I have been pretty good. I have been, um, I don't know, I've been like in a creative mood, but I quite haven't itched that creative um, scratch that I have yet. Like I've been trying to do different things and try to be a little bit more creative the last few weeks. And overall, I think it's it's going good. But yeah, I've just been doing that, man. How about you? How, how are things? No, I don't bother spring swapping the Obscuras. Believe it or not, I did paint something. Uh, specifically new. No, I didn't do nude models, Evo. But, um... No, I haven't really done anything, like, again, that has itched that creative want yet. I want it... I've been wanting to go out on a nice day like today, take pictures, but I haven't quite got there yet. Phil, thank you so much for the tier one for three months in advance. Dude, I, I appreciate that trust in me, bro. Try crocheting? Stuff like that could be really relaxing, well, like watching some TV or something. I don't disagree. Thank you guys, I really appreciate that. Phil, thank you again, man. Um, tufting a rug. That's just like making a rug, right? Like when you, I guess that's the word for it, yeah. I enjoyed the new pics you posted in the wallpaper pack, spent the weekend uh, gutting my garage to basically give it a blank canvas. Still, uh, so I've got the creative juices flowing. Dude, I'm telling you, when you start to clean up, because that's what really sparked me, Rock. When you clean up, you you kind of high key get creative, dude. Hey, Punk, I didn't even see you were here. We're using your switches today. We're doing an uh, HHKB style derivative today though. It stimulates your, your uh, mind to clean as well. Yeah. Cleaning is is awesome. Uh -uh. But yeah, if you guys wanted to, I did update the wallpaper pack. If you guys are interested, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. It's just it's there if you guys want it. It's in the Discord news channel somewhere. Is this from Keyless? Oh, no, it's just HHKB. Cool. Very, very cool. And I think we are going to do PP today. And if I really end up hating it, I can always just desolder it for this this client of mine. Oh, wrong way. Wait. God damn. I'm an idiot this way. Uh, I recently noticed all my wallpapers are different pictures of mountains. You know what? They just make such good pic uh, wallpapers. Yeah, I have a few more that I'm going to be posting soon for um, for my photography stuff. I have a few more. Been taking some awesome pictures. So nice. Happy Monday, BB. Regalicious. Thank you so much for 16 months, dude. Happy Monday to you too. Uh, how are you, Alex? Excellent day to everyone. Dude, I'm doing good. How about you, man? I want a wallpaper of you, huh? Would it be cool if I framed some of the key picks from the pack and hung them on my wall? Yeah, dude, I, I think I've maybe mentioned this. If you guys want to print those photos and do it, because I think some of them are big enough resolution that you can, go for it. Um, all I ask is you guys don't like, I don't know, put them on stock websites or something. I feel like that would be the only uncool thing, but yeah, do what you, do what you want to do. Tattoo appointment in less than three weeks. Ooh. Apparently I should touch up some of my tattoos. It has been over 10 years, so. Although I think they're in pretty good condition for being over 10 years old, personally. I kinda don't wanna get them touched up though. 
<sighs> they look great things. I just don't feel like sitting in a chair. Honestly, it's not even so much like the, 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 the art of getting it. I just don't feel like sitting in a chair for hours. You know? I kind of like how they have some patina, if you will. <laughs> yeah, the aged look a little bit. For sure, for sure. Podcasts? I guess I could do that. Shows that you've grown with them? Yeah, a little bit. That's, a, that's an interesting way. Says that we'll sing in a chair for hours. You know what? It's funny. I was literally thinking about that. I'm like, well, I guess I sit here. But I think it just, I don't feel like getting it done and not. Like, at least I have something to interact with. And like, usually when I go, well, by the way, I did go get tattoos, even though I was friends with the artist. Like, hi. It's still peace and quiet, you know? It's not really anything I can keep myself distracted with. You know what I mean? Plips, thank you so much for the tier one for 13 months, man. Holy smokes. I was goofing around. <laughs> no problems, Osco. Is there um, a good video anyone recommends on how to record audio video for sound tests? I have the equipment, but I'm a noob. Actually, I don't think there's any good videos for that. But if you want a quick little lowdown on, on a good way to do that. All right, first, what you're going to want to do. Number one step. Don't care what anyone says. Get the, make sure the, the audio device you're recording on is not connected by any means to the desk. All right. If it's clamped to the desk, you're gonna hear vibrations from the desk. Tra even if you have a shock mount. That's number one. Number two, this is also very important. You can use whatever you want. Um, don't use a Shure SM7B. That is not a mic that you need to record stuff with. If, you, if that's all you have, then go for it. But if you were like deciding on a microphone, don't use that. That's my number two thing, okay? That is not a microphone meant to record this. Uh, and then number three, um, make sure you don't have a lot of reverb in the room. So stuff like having a carpet underneath the desk, um, having just stuff that blocks the sound from echoing everywhere is probably really, really, well, is very, very important. Uh, but that's really it. There's no, you shouldn't really need any filters, anything like that to um, cut background out of the, like noise out of anything. Don't be afraid if there's a bit of background noise. Uh, so for example, if, if you end up having a slight bit of background noise, don't stress about it. Uh, it kind of adds to everything. <clears throat> I'm doing regular control, I guess, for the HHKB here. I am using a um, MKH416. It's a shotgun mic and I have it attached to my camera, which is attached to a C stand. And it points just out of frame. You like, I'm literally touching the tip right now. And don't, don't fucking, don't take that into a sussy. Don't even start with me guys. But you could, uh, you could get a, I, I gotta go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow guys. Oh my goodness. This chat's too sussy. Thank you, Rocket, for the tier one, man. <sighs> that was a bad one. Hey, I'm just literally trying to explain something. Oh, this is interesting. That was on a silver spoon. Yeah, I know. I, I realized that after I said it, dude. Oh my God. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Don't forget, uh, chat, Alex says, we make the stream sussy. Okay, dude, we could have not made it sussy. I literally said, hey guys, don't make this sussy. Alex, honestly, you got a cold today, you okay? Um, You know what's, I feel like today's the better of my day, Sky, but yeah, I've had like a little something i don't know what it was i haven't really been sick i've been a little bit like you know when you're slightly under the weather like you're not sick sick but you're slightly getting there i felt like that for about a week like not a hundred percent but yeah today's the one day i was actually feeling better like my throat anyways 
Too tired of being tired. A little bit of butter and a very big slice of bread. I love bread. Root beer floats. Indeed. Root beer floats today. So happy to see you live. Your stream VODs are my home office entertainment throughout the day. Oh, but I'm always happy when I can catch you live. Dude, happy to be here, man. These are lube, punk. You know, I love all your switches, punk, but these are the ones I feel like that need the most TLC. Well, I wouldn't say TLC. They, they, they need the most love when it comes to, to lubricant. I do feel like these are a little bit um, metallic-y. Is it by design? Yeah. Once you lube them, though, this is how they sound, guys. I don't have one that's not lubed, unfortunately, but... They sound like they're gonna be very full sounding switches. Yeah, they're dry from the factory, but I, I've heard like less metallic-y dry switches. Uh, but once you slap, I put a very, very, very light coat of 205 and a little bit of oil on the spring. Whew, they sound great. Yeah, I agree with you, punk. Actually, not lubing tactiles is a great stock experience like or a great thing to buy like on lubes just because you kind of do have to work from the ground up with tactiles everyone's preference is a slight bit different uh i tapped back in so quick when you did that to this which just felt like, like a cat like a cat saying explain um but yeah, they're, they're nice. They're nice switches. I have a, a batch of these that I use for a personal board. And I have one, I think I actually do have one more batch somewhere sitting in my, my closet. My attention diverted to your, uh, to your tab instantly. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I get, what you, I get what you're saying, I understand. Um, Do they sound similar to cream sodas? You know, yes and no. Um. It's, I, I personally would consider these like the tactile version. I, I'm sure Punk would probably give you a better explanation of what he thinks. They're his switches. To me, they, they feel like the, the obvious tactile equivalent of a cream soda. And cream sodas and obscuras are two of my favorite long pull switches. Cream sodas are very smooth once you lube them and also have a deeper sound signature slightly. While obscuras, similar, but have a more scratchy kind of um, I guess, sound profile to them. <sighs> Anyone touching tips and rating clicks for five streams, let's go, huh? What the? Uh, adapt to everything else in life, but can hear left beef bang? They have an ink material stem, so the pitch is a bit more elevated. Additionally, it's tactile, so you get a tactile event sound, yeah. Have we tried the polycarb for the Envoy? I did, I, I did try the polycarbonate build for an Envoy, but it wasn't for my Envoy, so I didn't get much time with it. Um, but it was really nice, dude. Dude, it is so dry in our condo lately. Like my hands have been getting so, like no matter, I've tried every possible thing to moisturize them, I think we keep forgetting to turn on the humidifier. We bought one specifically for this and just, we bought a cheapy one. Just keep forgetting to use it. But my God, dude, it is so dry here. Big same, Colorado, winter, Colorado winters are brutal. It has been so bad here, dude. So, so bad. 1000% really need to get on that tonight and actually just install it. Oh God, my headphones are falling out. Um. Have you tried the Crytox 205 on them hands? I don't think I want to. <laughs> I don't know if the condo would care if I brought up something like that. Cause I don't think there's any way that they can make it more humid. Okay. Looking good. Root beers are still the best uh, soft drinks. No one can argue with me. They can review the HVAC system. Uh, without getting into too much detail, guys, I've already had to deal with them for two winters in a row with the heating. We only 
just got, I think I told you guys this last time, we only just got heating after two years of being here. Last year, they kept trying to fix it and it didn't, it just didn't work. We, we only, like, I only know what heat feels like in this condo this year. And that's why this year here I have, you know, really dry hands. Uh, it's, it's, it's very slow. So that's why, like, when it's, when it's, like, bring it up to someone at the condo, I'm always like, ugh. I don't know if I want to, man. How do you live in Canada without heating? Uh, so, luckily, I would even say last year a bit, too. Maybe some Canadians here can agree with me. It has been a very mild winter. Even last year, it was pretty mild, man. Which is concerning. But yeah, I, I think I've, I've felt cold outside, like genuinely cold, maybe two or three times in the last like year alone. It is not, it is not cold. Sh the weather will hear you. Chudo coming out of nowhere. Just being like, Alex, shut up. Spring started in January here in Vancouver. I mean, even today, I barely had to wear my jacket outside. It's, it's nice outside. And it's weird because it's February 19th. So. All right, let's solder. It's just very dry. Uh, that looks like an Envoy cap. Oh, no, this is not the Baldur. I forgot, to, I keep forgetting to update that command. Mr. Chozo has been a little busy and he's usually the guy who does our commands because he's just honestly better at making the commands than I am. So. Uh, GF and I might visit Banff in March. Come through. Dude, Banff was amazing. I don't know, did you guys see some of my, my Banff photos? I made a web page mainly to talk about my experience with the camera system, but there's a web page I have with most of our BAMP photos. That one there, it was such a fun, fun uh, experience, man. I really want to go again to something like that. Maybe not BAMP again, but oh, it was so cool. What a fun time that was. Making sure HHKB, beautiful. Plug the web page here. Let me, let me get you guys the, the page for this while this is still warming up. Oh, I'm so tired today. Oh, that is me breathing. Uh, not Twitch, this one. Uh, here you guys go. Uh, the most asked Question probably with a different iteration. Can you give us a top five linear and top five tactile? So I cannot give you top five tactile. I'm, I am not a tactile guy. So my tactile list consists of like three switches, but I can do linears. Um, linears right now at the top, 100%. Um, I think Cherry Nixies, KTT Roses, Obscuras, Cream Sodas, and I'd say it's a toss between milky yellows and cap V2s. Um, I know it's kind of a cop-up by not giving you one or the other at the end there, but I feel like they're both kind of tied for me. Where's my solder? Oh, here it is. Cap V2s are an underrated switch. I don't care what anyone says. I don't understand how they're not popular. Uh, Cherry Nixies would be at the top. And then next up, KTT Roses, or you can put whatever order you want. Roses, Obscuras, um, Cream Sodas, and then Milky Yellows, or Gatoron Cap V2s, specifically the Golden Yellow ones. I'm not a really an Oil King guy. But HMX switches are getting close to coming up to some of my top switches right now, but so far I still think those are, that's my list, my definitive list as of right now. Just Googled BAMF and I'm intrigued. It's very pretty. It wasn't all that crazy expensive to go either. Maybe because I'm within Canada already. 
That was actually the first vacation I've ever actually been on as well. Like in my entire life. Like I've been on little day trips before, so... But never, never a week of being somewhere. So my very first one. Yeah, I've just never been. I I know I know it's weird saying that, but yeah, just never been anywhere. Been either working or I was in school when I was younger, and then the summers we'd stay home, um, just because you know didn't grow up with I guess the opportunities to go with those those places. Obscuras are amazing switches, dude. Such nice switches. I learned a lot of photography there in Banff, though. Like, I took home a lot of, like, okay, so I should be taking shots this way instead. Because I've never really been out in nature to take photos. At least, it's been a long, long, long time. Yes, I, I would also agree vacations are a huge, huge privilege. Like I was looking at some of the prices to places like Japan and a lot of other really, I think, beautiful places. And yeah, there's no way. I think the next place, if I, if I had to pick anywhere and if I had the money to do so, I don't even know how to plan this. But I think going to Iceland would be absolutely a stunning experience. I would love to go there. Iceland or even somewhere just where I can just take pictures of like fields and nature and mountains. Photography is hard for me because there's a long gap between taking pictures and seeing what it looks like. Oh, do you shoot film? I've been really wanting to get into film again, man. I don't I I think I may pull the trigger on a film camera soon and just getting really into film. It may go down that path. Hey, I'm in Iceland? Really, Arnif? Looks gorgeous there. I really, really would love to go one day. If you ever visit DM me? 100%, man. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that to be in the future for, for sure. That is 100% on my list. Uh, check out Singapore. It looks beautiful, too. Iceland is amazing. Going there around June for my third time. Really? So it's that good that you've been three times? Damn. My dream is to go backpacking trip in, uh, on an island? That could be really cool. Which, uh... Any, any place in particular for that, uh, Zeal? Not film, but even with digital, the screen in the back seems not good enough to tell what you're really getting. More of the, I'd say, more recent cameras have been getting better screens, but I will agree with you. Not all the screens are fortunately... Um, some of them are not well calibrated to, to see things very nicely. So I will agree with you there. Sometimes they're a little bit blue shifted or green tinted or magenta tinted, so I've had the same issue. One way to go around that is I, if I do go out somewhere, like when I was traveling in Banff, brought my laptop with me, and at the end of the day I dump all the stuff on the laptop just to make sure I'm getting things right color-wise, but like I said, it was a learning experience for me there too. It's just so expensive, Japan. Like, I looked at the flight cost alone, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And even what I do for work, technically, which is like commissions and all this stuff, it's very hard to get some time off, like to really plan that, so. Isn't the screen more about composition and the graphs for color and lights? A lot of people end up using it for reviewing photos. I also use it to review photos as well, especially if you're taking JPEGs, uh, which a lot of people do these days. So, I've had cameras in the past 
where the camera screen seems a bit warmer. So you go to adjust it to be a bit cooler and it looks fine on the camera screen. And when you get home and upload those JPEGs, um, they end up being a little bit too cool or just off color. Now I'm gonna be honest, I don't really use my thing to review much anymore at all. Uh, when I'm taking photos, it's just to show people the photo I've taken. I don't care about what the colors look because I know that with the raw files these days, you can do so much in Photoshop. Especially color temperatures. So I'll just leave it on auto and kind of set it and forget it. The last few weeks have been a very big, even, I mean, talking about learning experiences, I've been absorbing a lot of new information for just how to take better pictures. Alex, in your experience with Obscuras, what do you think this, they sound thin on the... Wait, why do you... Wait. Do you think they sound thin on modifiers when using a CF plate? Um, personally, no. But I think it more depends on the keyboard. What keyboard are we talking about here? Take care, Mark. Have a good one, dude. Have, uh, have fun with your friends. Um, you can go to Southeast Asia country. There are so many beautiful resorts that were tropical weather, perfect for summer vacations. Yeah, that's something I'd like to, to do in the future as well. Just go on like a resort or a beach or something. It'd be fun. In the future, definitely can't. I don't think I can go on another thing this year. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can. I'm not sure. <sighs> I don't think it sounds thin, um, but it might depend on the keyboard though. Some keyboards just naturally have thinner modifiers, just due to how it's built or how it's mounted. Uh, Lightroom is where I set that at, focus and comp is all that really matters in the moment. Exactly. But again, for people who shoot JPEGs, it does come up, become a little bit tougher to edit those things. Um, it's actually why I don't bring out my Fuji cameras. I get so absorbed because the one that I was bringing out was an older Fuji. I love the JPEGs. And there's been a few times where the screen has kind of like tricked me almost. And uh, yeah, I prefer using other cameras. Eight year anniversary is bronze. But for eight months, you'll go. Banana, man. Thank you so much for the eight months, dude. And thank you so much for the gold, bro. You can J at home. Okay, you know what, Rock? Actually, even my uh, Fuji RAW files, I do find them to be a bit green shifted. So I, I'm always having to uh, adjust the RAW files in my camera. All right put regular caps right perfect well i guess regular control in this case uh we end up going up with the pp1 solid so i'm hoping i, I have a good feeling about the pp with these because i think it'll kind of add to the deepness i'm a little worried to use the aluminum as much as i prefer aluminum and tactiles the aluminum with the derivative I do find tends to be a bit more on the pingy side. So uh, I've heard DaVinci Resolve is absolutely amazing. I just don't know how to use it personally. It's something I don't know how to use. I'll be back though. I'm gonna quickly wash my hands guys. And then I'll answer your guys' questions. he doesn't fuck with tactiles oh I don't really use tactiles too often no <laughs> tactiles are not my forte <laughs> I 
but typically when I do use tactiles, I usually pair them with aluminum or brass. If Peng Shu, um approved them, uh, approved too, I won't argue. We'll see. If this ends up sounding absolutely bad, you know what I'm gonna do solid. I'm taking this apart and putting something different, but I don't, I don't think it will. I am probably gonna use relief top because you know what? Every board that I've done for the derivative, we end up going the same route. Relief top mount. No, this is not my build today. Um, I've been trying to always every single week in the build commands, if you guys notice on Discord, I put proto next to the ones that are protos, and if it doesn't have the word proto, it's most likely 99% a, a customers or a clients. So they're usually commission builds. Oh, I did miss one pin. Let me saw that quickly. How did you lube the switches then? With 205. I did a little bit of 205 on the rail and on the back side and just a tiny little bit on the front face where between, you know, the two uh, stem legs. And then um, some, a mix actually, a little bit of 205 and 105 on the springs. Um, because I did find the springs, like I said, these stock, as Puncture even just said too, they're not great switches stock. They sound very metallic-y, but they are absolutely insane when you put lube on them. Absolutely. Yeah, I normally just put 205 on springs, but for these, just because they were dry, I decided to opt for putting a little bit more lube than I normally do. Well, I guess a little more work on the, the springs than I normally do. <clears throat> Can you put the customer's social security number two? I mean, I don't collect that information, but... <laughs> so I don't know if I could do that for you guys. God, this, this green is insane, dude. I am so into this green right now, bro. God damn. I'm gonna pretend I didn't read that way too lucky. Actually, I'm not gonna use Greg because we're literally doing someone's keyboard in like a week or two where we're putting Greg on it. So prepare your guys self for that. Wait, Solid, do you want Greg on this? I can't remember if you wanted Greg on this or not. Greg. <laughs> Come on, dude, Prime. Uh, sorry, Sloth, thank you for the Prime, dude. Gregory for the uh, people. Oh my God, what a shame. Here, here I was looking forward to like putting on like Metropolis or just something fun for this, you know, but nope, Greg. Uh, I got a letter from the social security office and panicked, opened it before I realized it wasn't addressed to me. Oh yeah, you gotta, gotta always check your mail addresses. Did I ever tell you guys the story about the cell phone that I received? Did I ever tell you guys this? I don't know if I did. I think I may have only told like Angel or something. So, uh, I, I intend to put November Fog or Botanical. Okay, maybe we'll do something else then. So one day I went to the post office and went to go pick up my packages and they gave me a box for a client. So it was a big standard keyboard size box. But then they gave me a box, I would say no bigger than, than this square. Well, a little taller, right? And on that box, it had the um, customs owing form taped to it for the other client's box. And I was like, oh, so what happens a lot of times is sometimes clients, they only have one size box and nothing, like not everything fits in it. So they'll also send over a small box. I was like, I guess these are both for this client. So I go home and because it's taped very nicely, like on all edges to this other box, I just start opening this, this small box and you know, I'm just double checking to see what's inside because I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. They sent over two boxes. I go to open this thing and I, I'm like, damn, this is a really nice box. I open it. Um, 
it has like a pull tab on it. I'm like, I don't think this is from this client. What is this? Pull it open. I tip it over to the side and then a Google, one of those new Google phones, like the top end Google phone just falls out. And I go look at the box and I'm like, what is this? So I looked at like the, the full customs form, like there's no mention of any cell phone on the customs form. I peel away the customs form um, and it's addressed to someone else entirely. And I was like, what the hell? I'm thinking UPS, for whatever fucking reason, um, taped my form to this other person's box. Uh, so I went back to the post office and just, I taped it back up and I was like, I was like, fuck, I feel so bad. I just ruined someone else's experience of opening their brand new phone. So I went back to the post office and dropped it off with them. I'm like, this is not for me. <laughs> so they put it back in your, in their, uh, their, I guess their system. Um, to ship it to the right person. And I was like, yeah, this is not for me, dude. No, I'm not going to keep it. I'm, I'm not that type of person. As much as it crossed my mind, I'm only human. But uh, I'm not going to keep it. I don't, need, I don't need stuff. It's an expensive phone, though. God damn. I was like, oh, I don't really know much about this cell phone. Looked it up. Holy, holy cow, dude. Shit's expensive. Your heart is too honest. There was a moment. I'm not going to lie. I almost fell, fell victim to my weakness there. I was like, should I? No, 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 no. Can't. You can't, dude. It's not right. Someone spent money and I don't want them to go through hassle just for someone else's mistake. Yeah, dude. I didn't... Re I For some reason in my mind... Like, I know Apple phones are expensive. Um... But I feel like some of the Android phones, dude, they get just as expensive. I'm like, damn, man. Because I think that particular one ended up being more expensive than one of the iPhones. And I was like, whoa. And then I also saw there's also, there's a lot of cool Android phones out right now, though. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'd ever buy them for myself, though, but. The Delta on Android phone cost is wild. Wait, how much is it? I find I'm using my phone less and less to justify their price nowadays. I don't think I'm going to be upgrading mine anytime soon. Although I did scratch my screen, but I'm trying to get away from using electronic devices, man. I still use it too much. Like, I feel like when I hop in bed, like I want to play a little game on my phone or like, you know, I don't even browse things anymore. I'm just like playing a little video game on my phone before I go to bed. In the morning, sometimes while I'm drinking coffee, I'll use my phone instead of, you know, hopping on my computer to read some stuff on the news. But past that, other than to check some Discord messages and emails here and there, I don't use it for anything. I don't even really touch social media these days. Like, other than my own social media that I manage, that's it. Uh, I'm playing like an idle game, it's called... Here, I'll tell you guys what it's called. Rogue with the Dead. It looks like this. I don't know, I think this one here is really fun. This is all it is. Been playing this one. That's it. Just a little idle game. You kind of manage it before you go to bed and that's it. What's your brewing method and news outlet? I do Chemex in the morning. Chemex just because it's quick and easy. And then if I go um, coffee in the afternoon, what I'll usually do is a little... Probably V60, I'd say, but I lean more towards the AeroPress. Uh, I do grind the stuff in the afternoon by hand. Other than that, I have a pretty nice grinder uh, that I use in the morning. But that's as far as my coffee equipment goes. I have a V60, a Chemex, a Comandante for hand grinding, uh, the AeroPress, which by the way, AeroPress is pretty cheap. Found mine on sale. Take care, Solid. We'll, uh, we'll let you know how it sounds. Comandante? Oh, what on Dante? You know what, Rock? V60 never lost. Yeah, that's quite nice. Uh, there's a really high-end cafe that grinds all their beans the day before they use them. 
I think a lot of the cafes sort of do that nowadays. At least I can make the assumption they sort of do that nowadays. Is Dante sticky now? Okay, dude. I have three brewers. Which ones do you use, Elquan? So, the one I ended up going with, um, I will say, I'm fortunate enough that a friend uh, ended up basically, long story short, a friend of mine who's, I don't know how to really put this, they're very fortunate, um, and they also really like coffee. Uh, they ended up not needing something that they had purchased and they could not return it. Um, so they ended up sending me something as a gift. So the one I use, oh God, I forgot the name of it now. Hold on, I'll go look at it. No, it's no one you guys know. <clears throat> Let me go look. Am I putting this all in the right one? This is the relief cut, right? Oh no, I don't put this one here for relief cut. Dude, I really want to do mocha pot too, but I just don't have, don't have the space. I do not have the space. Actually, I'm gonna fill my water up while I'm there. It's a Melconic. That's what I have. I use that one there. That has been great. I actually had a, oh God, just one of the generic brands, like the, I don't know what I did with it, what, what, what it was. I can't remember what the first one I had was. It was just one that I got from like one of the outlet stores. Um, no, it's a, here, I'll tell you guys the exact one. I don't remember the model name exactly. Melconic. I think it's the X54, if I remember. X54, that's the one. No, guys, I don't think you understand. I have to cut myself off from all those things. I, trust me, I think both me and my girlfriend in the future would love an espresso machine. We don't live in like a giant condo. So right now, if I get even one more small coffee thing, we just don't have room for it. Like I straight do not have room. I have to keep the hand grinder next to the keyboard collection because there's no room in the, in the kitchen area. If you guys, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like condo kitchens. They're really small, man. I don't know why no one who sells condos these days, or I guess like the more modern con, I don't know, condos in general, like I guess they assume nobody cooks in condos. So it, it's just not big. Just rub two key cults together to grind the beans, easy. I didn't even think about that. All right, let's put this back together. Buy Alex a house? Yeah, yeah. No, you guys better not. You better not. Don't be silly. Oh, did I not screw this down all the way? Oh, I did not. Okay, let me make sure this is nice and tight. Perfect. Um, but you can just leave the, the mocha pot on the stove. We already do that with a pan. <laughs> I don't want the house to feel more cluttered, you know? Are these pins bent on the inside? I feel like they are. Why isn't this nicely going in? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> but GF and I are looking at apartments. Every single apartment has the exact same layout, even the same brand of appliances. Because it's all cheap. They sell to these like builders in bulk, man. It's all so, so cheap just to go with like these generic brands. So love the wallpapers, man. Amazing quality. Dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate the kind words. I'm glad you guys like them. Yeah, you do have to cut costs somewhere, unfortunately. It's the one part of derivative I wish they did. 
little cable clip on the inside or something. It would have been so nice if they did that. The brand that we have here, I thought was a good brand, but we didn't have, we've had so many issues with, not like major issues, but just minor issues. Um, do I have a command for the wallpapers? Do you guys remember? It's on my, 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 my coffee, web, my Ko-Fi Ko coffee. Um, it's probably in the exclamation, or not exclamation, type in exclamation point in Discord if you guys are not already in it. Join that, it's in the news section there. I think I posted about it like a few days ago because I, I updated it with some some shots. It's a mix of art art that I've done by hand. Um, it's a mix of actual photos that I've done. Um, a lot of those actually. And then some keyboard photography as well. I think there's something like 200. Is there like 150 images I have in there or something now? I don't know how much. I think it's a lot. Wife and I just uh, had to buy a washer and dryer. Luckily, there was a sale going on, save like 800 bucks. Dude, even those are expensive. And then if you want anything like decent quality, I feel these days, whoo, good luck. Good luck. All right. That looks fantastic in green. So, what do you guys want for keycaps? Couches? Even tables, you know, like, we got lucky with ours. We found one that was in stock. But I've heard so many friends and just people tell me that like they're looking for new furniture. Even some Ikea models are taking like months and months and months to deliver now. So you kind of have to, for furniture, you kind of have to watch what you buy. Also, what's up, Simon? How you doing? Hope all is well, man. Why you ghost Simon? Oh, I forgot to respond to him. You know what? It's because I responded to you guys here in chat and never responded to Simon actually in person. For some reason, I'm like, yeah, I responded to Simon, but I responded to you guys asking me the same question. You know, I guess I didn't respond to Simon. That's on me. I'll respond to Simon after I'm done here. Shake my head. Shake my head, my head. SMH my head, bro. Botanical Desert, I blame it on Simon. Put a set that doesn't match on it. I can if you guys want me to. Take a moment and respond to Simon. Unfortunately, Simon, I don't know if I, I can do what you asked to do, but I, you know what we should do again? We should do the keyboard review thing, group by taking a look at thing again. That I'm totally down. Uh, but I don't think I can do what you asked me to do. It's not that I don't trust you or anything. It's just I got too much work to do, man. There's a lot of things we can do. Hey, yo. Starting OnlyFans. Crimson Cadet and Make It Christmas? No. I would've done Crimson Cadet on green. Huh. We could do CRP on this. It is tactile, so. I'm kind of down to do CRP. Or just one of the X, like maybe an XMI set. I'm always down for that. Yeah, maybe we'll do CRP. Let me see what I got. Only fans, but only with Alex's mustaches and Simon's feet. God damn. I still don't have Boba Fett. Boba, Boba Fett is the only Star Wars set I don't have. Actually, is, it, is Boba Fett still in stock? I don't remember. What can we use here? What can we use? I am pretty positive most of my CRP sets are on keyboards already. But let me see.
this set. I can't remember if this is CRP or XMI. But I don't know if it has all the pieces for this. I didn't write it down. I'm pretty positive this is, this is the one that came with uh, one of the keyboards. I'm pretty positive this is XMI though. Either way, I think we should be good. Should be good here. Black on gray? I don't have black on gray. I don't think so. Uh, most fun for me, thank you so much for the tier one. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay, if I don't have all the pieces for this, I am just kinda kinda wing it for the layout. Although, I'm not sure if I do. Would you do a polycarb or regular for you to buy an Envoy right now? Regular. That would be my uh, my go-to there. Actually, I'm gonna do the switches or the stabs. Just tune them up a little bit before we go too far here. Nori would look nice. I feel like a very beige set on this one looks sweet. That's the wrong shift for that. Although, this is a little crooked. I feel like this space bar is a little crooked. Let me see. I might have to use a different space bar, a different set. Maybe there's a reason why I didn't mount this on anything yet. It works fine with this, so. Yeah, it's this space bar. Perhaps we have to use a different set. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side then. Uh, thanks for the great content. I'm currently using a Neo 65 based on your recommendation. Would you think of getting a KV2, a Riva V2? I mean, first of all, I think you have an amazing keyboard already. Um, if you really wanted to get something a little, I guess if you want to get a little fancier, maybe you like the design of one of those. Me personally, I think the Riva was a little bit of a nicer keyboard. Um, However, the KV2 was also very pretty and beautiful. I just think the Riva is a little bit more what I'm into personally, keyboard wise. So that's kind of my, uh, my thought there. I, I hope that helps decide. And also thank you for the kind words. Well, let me see what else I got. Here, we'll use this set. Do I have a seven new space bar for this? I don't think I do, but I'll steal it from another set. Yeah, there we go. Much nicer. So nice. Yo. Uh, Telemundo, thank you so much for the tier one, man. I appreciate that. Beautiful. I still don't know if I have the full thing for this, but we'll find out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Have you ever had friends you've grown apart from? Yep. I think the majority of my friends that were my age from high school that I ended up growing up with, I grew apart from. I would say just about every single one of them. Just difference in opinion, diff difference in like values. Um, it was sad at first, but ultimately I have learned that it's probably for the best. And I am no longer hurt by it. I think for a long time, I felt a little bit, you know, not so much ashamed, but more just in a position where I felt a little bit left out because so many other people in my life had 
childhood friends, and I, I didn't. You know, and to this day, I, I don't really have a childhood friend. Um, but I have learned that not everyone grows up the same, obviously. So, they don't value keyboards as much as me. Yeah. Might be part of the reason. Uh, I'll be your childhood friend. If only we had time travel. Uh, it feels like most people in my life don't want to engage and would rather just small talk. I mean, I think there's, okay, to, to challenge your thinking a little bit on this too, way too lucky. Um, I don't know how, like, how old are you? Can, can I ask that? How old are you now? So I do, I do have some like thoughts and opinions on this kind of stuff. 32. So you're about the same age as me. I'm 32 as well, turning 33 this year. Um, I'm kind of the same way, man. Unless I really have the time to sit down with people at night and talk. Most of my conversations are just small little things during the day. And you know what? Like, again, having gone through like the, the ups and downs of having certain friends and having people leave my life and come out of my, come in my life and back and forth. Um, you can, I, I've personally learned that, you know, it's just some, what some people, that's how some people interact. You know, that's just how some people are. Um, and I, I will say this, if you are looking for someone to kind of have those deeper discussions with, um, usually it's one person. And I would say probably for a lot of people as they get a little older, it might be a friend, uh, it might be, you know, a girlfriend, uh, a husband, um, whatever. But uh, I've learned that I don't really confide too deeply into to people these days about serious things. And when I do, it's an, either a new connection that I've made. and it, it depends your comfort level of how you confide with people, right? A lot of times small talk by people um, that are shy and aren't great at talking. Yeah, I, I agree with that as well. Very, very hard, like, strongly agree with that. Sub Nina, how you doing? Sometimes small talk is people's forms of talking because, I mean, even myself. I think I'm pretty social, but there are days I have no energy in me. So I'll just do a little bit of small talk here and there. That's why me and Tim are not good friends anymore, you know? I do a lot of small talk. Tim doesn't like small talk. Um, and that's why Tim doesn't like me much anymore. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't really care for people who small talk. <laughs> Tim only really cares for toenails, and that's really about it. <laughs> they spat it back at me? Yeah. So I said, sometimes uh, you kind of have to pick and choose who you talk to in those senses. But I think, and again, not to be doom and gloom in this situation, um, as we get a little older, you, I think even myself, and maybe this is selfish, maybe it's not, you tend to, uh, you tend to go to friends and stuff for like good times. And at least for me, uh, when there's something more serious happening in my life, um, you don't talk to those people. Like, you don't want to dump... I don't dump things on people these days anymore. I just... I don't know. You got... You just... It's what you were comfortable with too, right? I've just kind of... Internalized a lot of things, I guess, but... You'll find that one person you can talk to about it with everything. And that's... That one person's all you need. I think there is a, a small idea of people who uh, they, they some people think that they need lots of friends, but all you need is one or two really good good people in your life, and you have you have the world in that sense. Uh, wasn't there a studio which showcased that you generally only keep your closest friends? A studio that showcase that you generally only keep your closest friends. I don't know. I feel like I'm different, man. Because like I have I have a lot of people that I know. Yeah, quality over quantity. I, I love talking to people. I love being social. I'm I would say I'm I'm pretty good 
at that kind of stuff in my life. I love chatting. I'm a big chatter. I absolutely love it. But yes, there are some times where there are certain people I'll only talk to certain things about. Um, and for me, I like to keep a lot of people close. So I think it depends on the person. Basically, I had one best friend, uh, but he has been AFK for a couple of years now and it kind of it hurts and sucks. To kind of spin it a little differently too. Um, I don't exactly know your situation way too lucky, but think of it like this too, right man? If they're busy and they're doing stuff to better their lives, um, first of all, I don't want you to feel like bad about it, but dude, sometimes you gotta be happy for those people. It kind of even reflects back to what we talked about in keyboards, which is like the joy of missing out type thing. Dude, there have been, there have been times where I feel like I go weeks without talking to people and then I come back full force when I'm free. And you know, it happens exact opposite to me as well, where people in my life will, will leave for weeks and then come back to me and we can talk like nothing's ever happened. It could be weeks, it could be, I've had, you know, I've had stuff happen where it's been like a year or two. Um, I have a group of friends I used to play WoW with when I was in my early 20s. Um, it's, it's on, this is on me. And this is like, I am that, I'm the opposite side of the spectrum where like, I just, I've been working a lot. I've been doing my own thing and I found a lot of joy in, you know, being solo in that kind of sense. And once, once in a blue moon, like maybe once every eight or even nine months, I'll jump into that call with them and see them on Discord and be like, what's up guys? And I hope they don't mind that, but that's kind of how it is for me, right? What's up Dutch, how you doing man? Cause I'm sure that person thinks of you, man. All right, now to find all the keycaps for this in here. So. We have short shift. This is what I mean by like, I'm not sure what I had in this bag. I don't think I've ever used this keycap set, but I'm pretty positive this was only ever meant to be a 6.25U. But I do see some like, some controls here, which is weird. So I might have to go scoop up my other set and then just like plug in things. Yeah, I don't think this was ever meant to be anything more than this. Okay, let me just find a delete here. Which is weird. Why did I order this then? <clears throat> uh, my brain never stopped, but uh, any other brains don't work like that. Yeah, it's a little different. They definitely have, yeah, then I don't know. I've, I've actually never mounted this set before. This is the first time I've mounted this. Um, I'm not too sure. Unless I, unless, I lost, I don't even know. I've never had, never mounted this. It's the first time I even opened this bag. I don't know, man. That's weird. Where's the entry key? Yeah, actually, where is the entry key? I think I got scamazed. <laughs> um... Okay, I'm just gonna grab a different. Huh? Yeah, I think I'm missing a few things out of this. I have not robbed from this set at all. This was, it's in my pile of new stuff. Uh, I really like both the K, uh, the K and the Riva. Softer typing feel would definitely go to the Riva and Plateless. It's way softer. Okay, I have another XMI set that I'm just gonna go steal parts from, so. Unless I have stolen from this and I don't remember. I don't think I did though, man. I'm like 95% positive. Okay, let me just go with the other XMI sets. from the Thai green one. Although I don't know if I have enter in here at all. That's not the right enter. So I may have to go open up another set and steal from that. To a vault. 
You know what? I'll probably just end up dumping this entire set into this and just call it a day and set my losses here. Ah, oh, we got the box space already. Alex, since I've been uh, ordering my keyboard part, I've been getting shit from my friends because I haven't got a PC and I'm getting a custom keyboard for the PC, but I kind of fell in love with the hobby because of you and some other creators. Ah, dude, if your friends are giving you shit because you don't have a, like, a, what, a proper PC and you want a keyboard, dude, do it you. Enjoy what you want to enjoy first. There's no proper order for any of this stuff. If, if you like it and it's speaking to you and you are financially, you know, okay for ordering it, dude, 100%, don't listen to nobody. Listen to what you want to do. That's all. Do not listen to anybody. What am I looking for here? Oh, missing tab as well. Probably, I have this mounted on the keyboard, so I'm probably gonna have to steal from the keyboard. But, let's see. Probably other Windows key or something here. These are all XMI. But I'm a bit of a dummy and I guess I've, I don't know what happened to that other set to be honest. All right, let me just go get the keyboard this is mounted on. One of my homies got two custom keys before upgrading his PC, it's chilling. Yeah, it's all what you want to do at the end of the day. Don't feel pressured. Do not feel pressured, my friend. All right, what did I put those XMI keycaps on now? Do I have it here? Uh... Hmm. Dude, you know what? I remember what I did with that keycap set. I have it all right here, no one stress. I put some of this stuff on the board with everyone's usernames on it. Found it. Whoopsie. This guy. That's what I ended up doing with it. And then I put it back in my new pile. Feel like super cards uh, ease the marker a bit. What happened? I mean, I'd say the CRP and XMI are pretty close in color. All right, all built. This looks great with this keycap set, by the way. Damn. That is really pretty. What's a good place to find modifier sets of 1.7U shifts? 1.75U? with anything like standard I'm not sure that looks really nice I think solid should 100% put a beige set on this dude all right damn yeah this is gonna sound so deep we got root beer floats in this derivative um, we're doing relief mount because it seems to be the best mount for this. The only thing I might include on this, so I may open it up, not now, because I, I don't know if it needs it, um, is I might actually play with, uh, what's it called? Force breaking this, because it seems like the derivative really does sound different when you force break it. And we're using a PP plate. Damn. Whoa! 
My first time doing tactiles with the derivative, by the way. So I have, this is the first for me. Wow. I already soldered this one here in, so I can't I can't change it that easily. What's up, Julio? Yeah, here. You guys want to see a, a GMK one as well? Tactiles do need some. Maybe I have to use them more often. I got so many bags of tactile switches I have just not used, dude. Like, so many. May I get unbanned from Discord? I think both sound good. Julio, I have no idea. What Discord are we talking about? My Discord? If the mods banned you for something, they probably banned you for something important. Um, I will double check if you don't mind. I, I'm not going to go rush to do it right now. But I'll put it on my notepad of things to do today. And I will double check. Um, Rupees are actually naturally sick as fuck. They're pretty nice. Hold on, the client is messaging me if we tried the gasket relief plus O-ring combo. <clears throat> Will you put me on that list of things to do today? Huh? They filmed two or just loop? No, I didn't. I, I tried to put a film in these just to see. Like the client didn't ask for films, but just to look. And it did not sound like, I mean, it did not close very nicely. So you probably don't need to. Uh, will you just lube mine then? Yeah. Am I doing yours soon, Telly? I don't remember. Okay, the client asked to see, oh, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. The client asked to see if uh, we can do this with the combo of O-ring plus relief mount. So we're going to see. I was asking for my own. Um, I will lube mine. Oh, yeah, dude. Just lube. You don't need to film these. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Punk Shoe is still in here, but I don't know if he would recommend to film them. I couldn't get them to close nicely with the films that I had. I was just using them TX films. You need to install the standoffs for the O-ring. Standoffs for the O-ring. For this guy? Gold standoffs? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, is that what those gold little pieces are? Okay, then I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've built the derivative in HHKB. Let's take a look. I'm very happy with the way this sounds right now, but I know that JJW boards, a lot of people on the cloud, was it the cloud line did the combination where they did a little bit of a uh, O-ring and a little bit of top mount. So it's not unusual to see that combination of things. So let's take off the plate. The tape on the logo is so cute. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like to remove it because I, I want the, the board to be clean by the time it gets back to the clients. So 
it's a uh, I think I've done about three derivatives so far for clients and each one of them I don't remove oh this thing interesting and what you just screw this in Where does it get screwed onto the the plate? <clears throat> do I lick the board clean? Um, I can't say I do. <laughs> can't really say I do. Wait, how does this work? Where does it get screwed in here? It screws into the plate? Even the PP plate? Let me see. What's the aluminum plate look like? Where do I stick the aluminum plate? Put it back, I think. <clears throat> you slot it in? Just like that? Oh, I think I... Do I see how this is installed? No. Does it install just like this? Like that? Flip it? This way? Actually, what an interesting thing to include. Like that? On the two little holes there? Just put a switch in there. Just like that? Uh, the tops, two, two screws, wait, two screws on the top, one on the bottom, switch housing, and then screws in. All right. And I guess I have to figure out, this is for the case, this is for the top mount, and let me figure out what screws to use. Interesting. Can't say I've done this before on the derivative. So, which ones do I use here though? Is there a particular screw I use? <clears throat> yeah, let me see the, the shorter black screws. Let's see. So they're using the counter, the counter sunk, okay, yeah, okay. I see how this works. Thanks for the info guys. Appreciate you. And we've got these guys. This is a great board, but I sort of think it has a bit of a JJW hype. Moment is his best 60 IMO. I mean, you know what? Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue. I think that the moment was a fantastic board. But I think the derivative looks, in my opinion, is more my thing. I think it really goes up to the user there. Like, what would you guys say for anyone who's a bit of a maybe JJW fan or... I, I will say confidently that I have the cloud line and I have not yet built it. Um, mainly because I bought the cloud line, I like the way the internals look. And you know what? Again, love Justin. I think he's a great designer. But I know for a fact that I couldn't get that board to sound what I like to what I like. So I've just been kind of like it's been a box. It's more of a collector's item for me. Uh, Ken, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate you. Derivative is more versatile. I can agree with that. Thock father, six months in advance? Damn. Hey, I really appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you for the support, dude. That means a lot. And also, if you guys, I think I saw someone download the, what's it called? The wallpapers, thank you guys. If you guys like those wallpapers, like I said, all for you guys. Thank you though, Thock father, really appreciate you, man. 
All right, let's put in the O-ring now. Well, that's kind of cool. So now the little blockers just sit like this. Interesting. Thanks again for the interview last week. Love you, man. Thank you, Thoughtweller. Uh, I don't know how much of I can talk about it right now, but if you want to plug it, dude, plug it. But I don't know if you, if it's like active yet or something, you know? If you want to plug it, go for it. No, not yet. Okay, okay. I won't say nothing. Uh, where are the wallpapers? Uh, did someone have the, the, the Ko-Fi link? I unfortunately only have it in my Discord. I do not have it on hand at this very second. All right, so client asked if we can do a combo of these. So let's try the combo. Thank you, Jabolt. Appreciate you. Again, I think the only gripe I have, there's two small gripes I have with the derivative. Seems that some of the plates, this plate seems fine today, but some of the plates are a little bit too, um, they're not quite aligned properly. And they kind of, like I think on my, my, my polypropylene one that I used or palm one, whatever I had, I had to like snap it into place and it causes some like odd sounds in some areas where I think the force break ends up being a necessity. And I do feel like the O-ring was a slight bit weaker, but I've noticed that even with the, the cloud line where I don't think the, I don't think the O-ring was like the, you know, the main thing that you'd want to build it with. Force breaking is basically like, separating the top and the bottom frame with a piece of tape. So you're breaking them apart so it doesn't resonate. <clears throat> All right, so let's screw these guys in now. God, Lumic, you guys are making Monday sussy, dude. Uh, add Desk Hero to the US area of your vendor link was rolling through and board. Hmm. I know they ship to a lot of places, but the thing is, I know that Desk Hero is based in Canada. So would it make sense to also put them in the US? Because a lot of places will be great for ordering in both the US and there's actually a few places that even have warehouses in both. But I just don't know if it's good to put, like, does it make sense to start putting things in multiple areas to the list? Or does it just make sense to where they're located at the moment because i also go to the u.s list to, to order stuff to canada no problem too i mean it's an interesting conversation i don't think we've ever talked about this before i think it's probably better to leave them in the location they're, they're from hmm, i'm not sure oh beast mode someone linked it if you scroll up a bit yeah, because I know there's even like two vendors, for example, that I know for a fact have warehouses in both Canada, United States, and then I think there's even now a warehouse in Hong Kong. So you would just see them three times on the list, which can be a little confusing, I think. I'm not sure though. Uh, I have a Mac mini coming in for work and want to know if it's better to get another cable or just go with the one they have. Like for the, like a keyboard cable? What does the Mac mini ports look like? You probably want to just get a C to C cable, honestly. I don't remember what the Mac mini has for ports. Yeah, UniKeys also has like two warehouses, I think. I gotta be honest, I, I'm pretty positive this sounds exactly the same. It even feels exactly the same. Actually, if anything, now I hear more of a ping. So we'll have to force break it now. Other than the slight metallic ping now that I hear, I don't really hear much of a difference. Yeah, I hear a metallic ping now because the O-ring. Actually, I'm probably gonna take these out. If the client's cool with it, I'm probably gonna take that out. I actually think this sounds a little bit worse. 
um, because of the ping. Although the force break could solve that. So I'll see what the client wants to do. But I do think going the top relief mount was 100% a vibe. <clears throat> Actually, flyback, I really like the XMI on this. You should, I don't know if you heard it before. It sounded so much better without the O-ring. Uh, what happened? Nuances and, and quirks of the... I mean, I, I have an Apple computer to use right now, and I use keyboards, no problem. The way I do it is I put Command, essentially Option, and I put Alt, where Caps is. And that's kind of how I've worked it now. That is indeed how I've done it. All right, give me message, solid. With you, when using like thick PBT keycaps like this, I really do feel like it depends on the build you're using. Like it's it's really nice on this, but I guarantee you if I put this on the Kohaku, for example, it probably wouldn't sound that great. It's very dependent on what you put it on. Extremely. All right, I think we're gonna go with the other one. So I'm just gonna quickly open this up now so I don't forget to do this later. And we're just gonna take out the O-ring and go with just relief top. But cool, I didn't, uh, I wouldn't have probably tried the combo myself. So fun to try this. Do you still think a CF plate sounds like an FR4 plate? I do. But I know that's not quite the, the most popular opinion. I think they're very similar. I think they're so similar that honestly, it's kind of hard to distinguish for me, like the differences. So me personally, yeah. I just, I think they're too, they're too close for comfort there. Would be a big flex to have a bunch of nerd coasters. And I have one, two nerd coasters, technically. I don't know, some, some screws are definitely more scratchy on certain boards. Actually, should we leave the blockers on? Nah, I'll take them out. We shall remove them. Uh, Zoom 75, isn't that done? Like, aren't they done selling it now? I'm pretty positive. I don't think that's gonna be run again unless they do another batch of it. Your screw is worth scratching, huh? What the? What's the latest keyboard you guys have ordered? What's what's uh, on your order list for right now, guys? What's the new thing? Let me remove the order first. They're only doing cases for the group buy. Oh. Softer typing experience, still want the sound of a CF plate. Yeah, I personally don't think there's a big difference. Fossil Extra? Oh, you got one? Dude. Let's go. That's a big, that's a big keyboard, literally. Um, Dracula V2 keycaps up above. No, that's um, Holy Otos Future 40. Funk. Huh? Holy Otos 40, Nanu. Thank you, dude, appreciate you. Uh, the What's the transparent 65 keyboard with the screen? Transparent 65 keyboard with the screen? I'm gonna buy, do my best to buy Simon's glare TKL. Hey, I, I know you guys are helping Simon and stuff, but, but also just so everyone aware, like you know, be careful with your money as well. Like I really appreciate you guys helping Simon out, but you know, just so we have like a sense of, you know, don't, don't spend just cause. Um, protagonist. I actually have not looked at the protagonist. That is one board I have not yet looked at. 
Why did I look to see which way this goes? It's very clear with the blockers. Flav, how you doing? Uh, final mouse board? Okay. I don't know when that's gonna come out though. A burgundy F1 V2 would look really nice next to my silver F1. You have to get it a brother or sister. I appreciate that. KV2 got Lunar New year So waiting for that before I order another. Yeah, a lot of stuff's been postponed because of uh, CNY, so. Be patient with your orders, that's all. I think we'll get it's Cerakote Purple by Space. Which one? I still need to build my derivative, but based off the last few streams, I'm guessing Relief Mount with PP Plate might be the way to go. What uh, what switches are you using, Thoughtfather? I think PP Plate's probably the way to go. I mean, mine has a, I think mine's polypropylene as well. Can't remember now what I built mine with. But I, I've settled on relief top as well, as well. And then I did find, again, I'm not sure if we're gonna force break it today. I don't think this one here in particular needs to be force broken, but I do think this board definitely has to have a little piece of a uh, little, little force break mod going on for the linear version of it maybe. The Freya 68 Ultra. I think you guys will like that board. But I'm also a little nervous for anyone who hasn't tried to use those spring mounts before because I do genuinely feel like those spring mounts aren't the best mounts in the world for the Freya 68 Ultra or whatever the variations of boards are. But if you like a bit of a foamier board and don't mind that, then I think the board's gonna be awesome. With no foam, oh man, I really don't know why they went with those, those spring mounts. Uh, not to sound unoriginal, but I have some Nixies set aside for it, but the PCB is mil-maxed right now. Hey, listen here, Doc Father, you do not sound unoriginal. Let me tell you, that's the best switch. <laughs> that is the best switch that you're putting in that keyboard. So, it's not unoriginal, it's just smart in my opinion. I think, uh, I think that's the case. I haven't found a need to force break the weight, but if you guys go back to my last Derivative video. I found some good spots to force break it there. And all I used was a little bit of stab tape, basically. So, Alex, try not to shill Nixie's challenge impossible. I got the Nixie disease too. Bro, it's just too good. Yeah, see, there's no ping on this one here today. It's just good. Maybe because of the CRP caps, maybe also because we use tactiles. But I might, you know what I might just do? I might just include in the package back to this client, just some tape, because I got so much of it. And then if they feel the need to force break it, they can force break it. But I don't think this one here in particular needs to. I don't think so. Damn, that sounds great. Yeah, this sounds so good. That is such a nice sounding keyboard. Which brand though, Lance? It, be it better be Loctite. Don't go Permatex. And if you do go Permatex, it's not my fault. How to be basic. Nixie's in every board. Greg on no boards. You know what? I would have accepted the Nixie's comment, but the Greg comment on no boards. That's considered being basic now. Okay, dude. Okay, aesthetic. Loctite is the way? Yeah, it is. <laughs> there always has to be some some joke about me not using Greg in some, some video or some stream. Even though it's objectively the worst set. In my opinion. <laughs> so not really objectively. What's wrong with Permatex? Uh... So Permatex, I don't know what it is. Permatex uses some different formula for their dielectric grease. Um, and Permatex separates so much faster. And I, I have literally shown like 
basically proof of this and people have also agreed to it. But if I go back to any of my boards um, from when I stopped using Permatex, the month after I used Loctite, and to this day, if I go back to those boards, those stabs are fried, like they are not good. And on top of that, I don't have a PCB to show you guys right now. On all of the PCBs that have used Permatex, it has separated and has, you can see the stains, like the oils. It just goes straight out of the stab into the PCB and gets absorbed into the, uh, the, 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 FR, the FR4 there. So with, that, with Loctite, even on those older boards, it has been the smallest oil spots, if anything. Some of them have no oil spots. Um, and they still sound good to this day. Now, eventually you still will have to retune some of the Loctite ones, probably about a year or even a year and a half, depending on how good you are with stabs. But I will say with any Permatex board within a month, not even a month, you're gonna have to retune it. And I would say after two months, it would have completely separated and you would just have to do it again anyways. So in my opinion, and just you know, objective facts here, uh, Whatever Permanex did or has done, I don't know if they've changed their formula. I haven't really touched it in two years. Uh, it was just objectively worse to use. And I think they're both the same price. I don't know how much Permatex is now. I haven't looked it up, but I'm pretty positive. If not same price, they're like a dollar or two off. Get the Loctite. 100% way better. Crytox also will eventually seep out too. It's just not thick enough, like the 205G0. Um, BDZ is great. BDZ is also more expensive. Um, I think BDZ can be the best material on the market for doing stabs. However, some people just might find it easier because this is easier to use. <laughs> you know it's sussy when Frank comes in here being, being, uh, being sussy, dude. I've been using Permatex with no issue, but this is good to know. Some people have no issue with it. I don't know if it's like a batch thing or maybe where you live, they do different formulas and like different, I don't, I don't know. But from what I understand, the American and Canadian version of Permatex, um, for the most part, again, there is exceptions to the rules. I've had a lot of people say like, hey, you know what? I have switched and it's so different. Um, so I don't, I don't know. This is just what I've found over the course of using like two bottles of Permatex basically. And then Loctite, again, about three things. Actually, I've only ever bought Loctite three times over the last two, two, two years of doing keyboards. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, that's the stream. We're gonna be streaming every day this week. I don't know if you guys saw the schedule. Uh, I thought this week here was gonna be a nice, calm week without streams and I could focus in on some other areas of content, but no, we're streaming every day. So I hope you guys don't get sick of me this week. I won't get sick of you. <laughs> We're doing so many, dude. We're doing, don't ever stick us with a Teja, wait, don't ever get a Teja stream schedule? <laughs> oh, let's go see what we're streaming this week. It's a lot, bro, hold on. Where's my Discord? We are doing the universe tomorrow, which is a prototype. Uh, on Wednesday, we're doing a Jelly Evolve 75. That's the first time I'll actually look at that keyboard, the new Jelly Evolve. Then we're doing a T9 Retro, which I think some people here might really like. It's by the same person who did the, God, I don't remember what that board was called. It's Deadline Studio. And then the Heine TKL1 and Polycarbonate on Friday, Saturday is off. And then uh, Sunday, we're doing an Orbit, uh, which the Orbit should be really fun as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, should be fun. I hope to see you guys soon, probably tomorrow. I think tomorrow's stream we're doing at 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. tomorrow. But let's go see if we can go raid. Right. I don't know who's online right now, but let's go see. I think Tyler Keyboard Live is on, so maybe we'll just go raid him. Um, I believe the oh man, it's been a little, that board has been delayed and delayed and delayed. I haven't really done my research on it like this week because I have all the links. I've looked at it in the past. I think that was a TKL, um, but I'll take another look. I'm pretty positive it was a TKL though. It's it's really nice looking. I just can't remember what layout exactly it was. Like I said, it's been delayed and delayed and delayed. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your days. The Orbit was a 65, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll see you sometime this week. If not sometime this week, then I hope you guys have a good week and I love you guys and uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me today as we built this beautiful green derivative. It's so pretty. Green is a great color. Yeah, green, green is so nice. Take care, guys. Enjoy and have a good one. Bye, everybody.